Hello students, uh, let's look at how to proceed for timer coding. So as uh, we have seen that there are few steps by which one can proceed to go for the timer programming. Let me just show these steps. These are the steps to generate a time delay. With the help of these uh, steps, it is quite clear that we need to load few of the values in the key mod register. Then we need to load the values in TLTH. Then start the timer. Monitor the TFX. That is the overflow flag. Once it is done, then respective target jumping has to be done. Get out of the loop when TF becomes high. Stop the timer. Clear the TF and for the next round again go back to the step 2 so these are the steps for any timer operations now let's proceed to check how one can go for the coding with respect to this mode 1 programming uh, it can be for the timer 0 or it can be for the timer 1 now we will just proceed with the help of one of the statements in the following program we create a square wave of 50% duty cycle means whatever the on period we are maintaining same will be the off period on the key 1.5 bit means port 1.5 where we need to generate this particular waveform with help of timer 0 to generate the time delay so as such no fixed time delay is mentioned over here so one can generate any random time delay but same for off as well as for on now in this code we will just clear out what exactly the procedure just now we have seen for the timer programming so the very first thing is load the tmod with value 0 1 so this 0 1 indicates that the first 0 means representation in four zeros because tmod register is having total 8 bits and next one will be represented like z triple zero one so here comes the role of timer zero so this is related to the timer zero and these four bits related to the timer one so this will suggest that by monitoring these two bits last two bits that is zero one so it will be nothing but the mode one programming so by monitoring these two bits but uh, as such no need to track for the t1 since it is already all zero so in this code we got the selection that it is the timer zero mode one so t mode will be loaded, uh, loaded in accordance with that value so if it is mode one obviously it is 16 bit so tl as well as th has to be loaded with few of the values so here we loaded it with the value like ff f2 so higher by Effect and lower by so maximum value for this one is obviously 4 but out of that we selected this particular value this is the random selected value in this uh, example it is not at all specified what kind of delay we need to generate that means on time off time how much it should be so that is not being specified or rather the frequency is also not specified so no need to worry right now for this problem statement so complement t1.5 based on whatever the initial status if it is uh, let's say it is 0 at the start we will complement means it will become 1 now if it is uh, 1 we will call the delay so delay calling means there will be the delay label and this is what the main code where the actual implementation is done so btr0 timer will be start started again label to this particular line dnb tf0 means monitor the tf0 until it becomes high so jnb tf0 again means at the same line it, it will be jumping till tf0 will become one so once it is one means when it triggers to high then what will happen we need to clear the tr0 means stop the timer clear tf0 overflow has to be again set it to zero and return so here call delay means after returning it will jump again to the next line of the delay where the subroutine delay is being called so short jump here means again we will come to the here label so here label again the same kind of things will be happening 
load TLTH complement C1.5 earlier it was 1 now it will become 0 so whatever the time period for which the earlier delay was called if I assume that it is uh, let's say 50 second I will just assume it right now you can just calculate based on TLTH uh, values and uh, for the same delay we should have the off period also means zero uniform generation so this is a again the same delay is being called so that is all about the timer programming with respect to the mode one and how to use the timers effectively with the help of the t mod register and how to call the subroutine that that is what the contents we have seen thank you everyone thank you